I was watching a movie and, uh, and mom and dad came in through the room and they said that the doctor needed to talk to us. And I was like, no, 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 I have to see the movie first. <laughs> and they was like, no, we have to go to the doctor. And mom and dad sat on this side and I was sitting in front of the doctor and he say, Helen, we have to amputate a leg. I very, very soon thought that it was good for me to, to start to make my body stronger again and feel connected with the other people. I thought that, okay, this is a way to, to feel that, that I'm a person that people can like or that people can, okay, I'm a good person, I, I can win and maybe they will like me. <laughs> So what drives me when I try and do sports is I want to see how good I can get at a thing. And uh, sports is a very good way to challenge yourself and to develop yourself and to see uh, how much you can grow. When I was training at Busan in Sweden, in Stockholm, uh, and they thought it would be good for me to to get data on how I actually perform in my sport and to see what I could develop. Busan is uh, the Swedish Sports Confederation's elite uh, environment. Uh, here, uh, elite athletes from uh, all over Sweden come and train and get tested. Here in the High Performance Laboratory, we test athletes in biomechanics and physiology, and strength and conditioning. The quality system provides you with 3D data. And from the 3D data, we can construct with biomechanical segments and, and the regulation. And we can calculate the joint and the power of the hip and everything. So everything comes down to kinematic and kinetic data but by mechanical researchers and coaches are really familiar with. We have collected movement data and force data from para canoe athletes and elite able-bodied athletes. And we have compared their movement and force production to be able to understand how athletes with different types of impairments move and create force in comparisons to other athletes with other type of impairments and uh, elite able-bodied athletes. And from this we have created a classification system which is now a requirement to be able to be accepted as a Paralympic sport. When it comes to example Helen Ripa, we can help her and the coaches to pinpoint exactly what she needs to improve or doing some kind of rehabilitation because it always comes to increase the performance in the best way from your own personal view and standpoint within your body. I think I want to show everyone that everything is possible. And um, yes, I, yeah, I like to show people that everything is possible. Just put enough effort in it, believe in yourself and you can do it. <laughs>